Okay, here is the, uh, this is Hover Flight Maniac uh, selling the Traxxas Jada 3.3. Um, I've got the wheels and tires taken off. Um, I have put, posted so many videos about this Jado because there is an electric conversion kit that comes with it. Um, I ran the electric conversion for, uh, I, I don't know, maybe a month. Uh, I probably only got about 10, 10, maybe eight track times with it. Um, basically what I did was, and I'll show you in the photos, is took these gears that, that, that were off the EV1, uh, that real fast Traxxas car. Um, I chopped up a, a front um, servo holder and I also um, got a transmission with a single speed drive, drive line um, and hooked up a monster, a Traxxas Castle, um, uh, the wicked one, the brushless motor that comes with it, and I was running on a 2S LiPo. Uh, it was incredibly ignorantly fast. Um, I was able to keep up with uh, some of the slashes on the track, but there was a lot of slippage going on. Um, I decided I'm just going to stop doing the modifications and actually buy what we're racing. So basically, I've converted this back to the Nitro. This is the Jado 3.3. Um, motor's in really good condition. There is only um, I am going to estimate about four to five tanks, these gas tanks, worth after the break-in period. Uh, the break-in was done professionally by the hobby shop. Um, uh, upgrades on this are the aluminum turnbuckles. Um, it has an aluminum transmission. Um, it also has uh, the steel CVDs in the back. Um, it has a high-tech, I think, I've I tried to take photos of it, high-tech Metal Gear servo motor in the front. Um, other than that, uh, oh, RPM front arms, RPM bumper, RPM rear arms. The RPM rear arms and bumper I bought used. Um, there were front arms that came with it, but uh, they ended up being broken, so I bought a, a, a front set for free and up or front set off eBay, so I, I will send you the, the broken set, but know that I bought those used off of eBay. Um, any other parts that I find that aren't on this table, I will send you. There are multiple sets of tires. We have one full set of the Anacondas. Um, I, I never really ran these. Uh, comes with bearings, uh, front and rear, the front have bearings, um, and then a half set of the rear Anacondas. Okay, I have a set of rear, okay, because the Jado has can't run. The Jado has a floating front front wheel, so these are rear um, Victory uh, TRX. Uh, they are very very nice tires. Um, you'll see in the video that's what I was using. Um, here is a set of front. Um, these are front with the bearings that go in, so they cannot be used on the back. Um, Pro something i can't really read it uh, the lights pro works um but they're you know they were used for steering because this was so fast it was such a fast vehicle um and then i bought these uh dirt tracks um they're trencher scs um and they are rears so you have one set of rear two set of rear three set of rear and then two sets of fronts okay um, here's the box for the turnbuckles. Um, here's the trencher um, package. Um, here's an extra front stack and here's an extra rear bumper. Uh, it's actually the rear battery delete. Um, here is the uh, stabilizers. I, I never put them on. Um, I didn't really know how. So, and I bought those aftermarket. Um, you will get the starter wand. Uh, the pins in the starter thing are very wobbly. So be careful when you put the starter wand in there to start this over. I would recommend uh, doing what I did, and I had this set up as a pull start when I did run it. It was it was much easier. Um, I put the wand back on there because that's just the way this needs to be sold. Um, there are also one other thing. Uh, this is a 17 millimeter adapter um, kit, so you can put 17 millimeter hex tires on there. Now we're talking um, the new um, T-Max, the new Revo size tires, but they also ran Truggy uh, uh, SC10, um, 
I don't know what they were. I see Truggy tires uh, ran a 17 millimeter. So um, these came in handy. That's why I started buying these. And then I realized I needed for the 17 millimeter ones for my other Truggy that I was going to run it. And this thing ran real well with Truggy tires on it, um, especially with the electric conversion. But yet again, I was still running into the battery being in the center. Um, it did not weight my rear wheels down, so I was kind of getting smoked by these guys, you know, especially after I ran a jump or something, so I ended up buying an SC10. Um, that's why I'm selling this. So, uh, once again, we have a, a Jado, a T-Max Jado 3.3. Um, it has a resonator pipe on it. Um, it has a, a good 3.3 motor in it, um, only uh, five tanks run through it. Um, it was broken in professionally uh, at the store, it has turnbuckles. Uh, we went through all that, but it does have this electric conversion. Um, this electric conversion is something fun to play around with, especially if you've got a 550 can laying around. Um, it has to have the brushless end on it. I think it's, uh, I'm not sure if it's the five millimeter or what, but uh, these, these gears came off the X01 and, and that's what you're to run. Um, and the plate itself that lines up to the, which is in there, I showed a picture of the plate that lines up to the transmission, will accept the X01 uh, gear mesh um, and uh, put it correctly with, I think you have to put a Revo gear on there, and I do have it right here. Here is, and I will provide it. So you do have to run the smaller gear with the X01. Um, once again, this is Hover Flight Maniac. Uh, you're buying a Jado 3.3 E-Jado conversion. Um, good luck, happy bidding. Any questions, please email me and I will try to answer them as quickly as possible. Thank you.